a self-defense situation, and he's somebody over here that's all that step, step, take a step or two that way, and he rah, that way just here and just up and 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 out there and King Kong kind of thing, yeah, Gur and or Godzilla thing. Goes, there you go. Now we're talking just up rah, like that, and he's got the scowl and the yelling and the and the ener his energy's jumping off of him and angry and here he comes and all that stuff, and I'm doing and again if I'm if I'm old enough, it's not like I'm really gonna run off at the same time i'm already going to start going positioning if you were for where he's at and what he's doing and so here's what i mean by that now when you look at tai chi again if you look at the postures if you look at the postures if you look at the postures there, there are a ton tell me if this is not in your tai chi a ton of sweeping motion sweeping by sweeping i mean this does anybody not have a ton of sweeping motions in their Tai Chi? And I'm, and I'm sure that you've got sweeping motions in, in forms, right? Okay. The, uh, and so what's going on with that, one of the things going, there are a number of things, but one of the things going on with that is he's being all aggressive. I'm going to start off in a position that's best for whatever position he's in. In this case, he's fighting like somebody that wants to pound me with fists, in which case that's more of an up position of which there's a few in Tai Chi, depending on your style, however you do it, but that are best suited to that if he's over there and doing it. So I'm going to start there and I'm going to design, and it's designed, let's say his fists are where they're at now, so that, notice I did this one, so that now, you know, like from here, you felt like, hey, you can reach out and slug yeah. me one. From here, he actually feels like to come out and slug me, he's got to change position. Yes. If he brings a fist from there, bring either one. That's covered, bring the back one. That's covered. Right? Change position. Well, okay, so you no, change I'm, side. I'm changing. Don't just change side, well then you gotta be able to see. Okay, so you change position, so did I. Right? So this is where the thing I just had you do becomes important because you're looking at their body going, where are the weaknesses at? And, Where's the balance at and where's their power coming from? And that's important here because if I judge wrongly, it'll look about like, you know, that. <laughs> if I judge correctly, it, if I judge a little bit wrongly, it could be, bring that in, push that fist out. It could be that. If I judge very correctly, it could be that. No effort at all on my side. And he's now got to bring his next punch. By the way, he's going to have to overcome yeah, yeah. that. Now, if I'm in a bad position here, just move me off with that arm if you would, and then come with your other punch. If I'm in a good position to it, go ahead and come. Yeah, I'm going to have to deal with this. And if I stay in a good position to that, I go, why do you want to do that to me anyway? <laughs> And I've got control over his body. So when he gets really interesting about it, let's say he wants to come out and grab me now, and I do a move like in this case, I went to, uh, and I just I I didn't plan it ahead of time. I just responded to where he is. I went to move like a needle search of C, or come on in inside of that. So then I went back to snake creeps down. Whatever move it is that's appropriate to his position. Right? And that way I don't have to move too far. I'll still be able to do that when I'm 90 if I live that long. And can walk mm -hmm. one block, or, you know, approximately. So what I want you to do with your, uh, and so take a different position. Let me be started off as a wrestler. So if I come up here, he goes, great, because he's going to tackle me down there. Right? So do I have top positions in my Tai Chi that would cover that position pretty well? And the answer is yes, for everybody in here that's doing Tai Chi and for you for your forms from the other. As well. So he goes into the grappling type of position. Yeah. Right? And this could be this. Ward off. Or I'm sorry. Ward off. But in this case, um, repulse monkey. I'm repulsing the monkey. Right? In this case, sorry. What you say? Yeah. That was the King Kong thing, right? Okay. So the uh, and so he dips, he dips down underneath that. And so then you've got moves that are a little more like brush knee. Come in and get my leg again. Okay, and so he got to the leg, 
slowly go to scoop it up. So then I come to back to that one from where I am, and I'm controlling his body position that he's helping me to control by being in the position he's in. That first part, the position him in being the first part, and he gets to choose that. So I need to be able to look at him. And when I say look at him, you know, obviously a fighting situation is fast. So it may be that he started with his fist up and then went for my leg. Does your form do things like that to that? Sure it does. Right. Okay. Um, so what I want you to do with your partner first is have them take whatever fighting position at a distance of slightly out of kicking range there. Take whatever fighting position. And I want you to find one of your Tai Chi moves that covers well. So I'm going to take your fighting position and I want you to do one that covers for this. Okay. Okay, and what I want to do is look at, does that cover this fighting position well? Let's see. Not, not ideal. And then notice he, and I want to let him do that. So I'm going to do it again. So a little more in there, okay. And then that's one position, one thing that would come out of this position. Here's another one. So it's okay. Could be better, but it was, it was better than what happened initially. Take a, take a different fighting position. And, and uh, I will. And then again, do a move that's going to appropriately cover for it. The, uh, right? Uh, I don't know if that's going to help you so much. Let go. What's a good Tai Chi position for this? Uh, and notice I'm here for you throwing for that. Probably go uh, for the punch if he's, if he's in. What single weapon? Who said that? Come on, show up, show up. That's not terrible. Yeah, because you're ready to smack that if I throw it, right? Smack it, go smack it. Yep, that way. Go back, go back there. If I come to the leg, you're ready to pick it up, yes? Yeah, so that one's a little bit exposed there, so you can change that a little bit. Now it's not so exposed. As an example, I don't know that's the one I would have chosen, but it's working for you, so that's okay. Do this with your partner. Go through three different fighting positions, three different responses that were covering for those positions at that distance that you're not letting them get into. You. There's the strategic idea and a little bit of distance, right? But the idea also being that somebody that really wants to attack you to hurt you, and it's not just they're angry because. You looked at them the wrong way and they were half drunk, you know, that something stupid, which is usually easily fixed with words and other kinds of the, the Tai Chi philosophy more than the Tai Chi fighting part, right? And it and ideally would be utilized. And most of the older masters that I've met, except for a few, the, uh, would use that. The other ones would go, <laughs> come here, youngster. But that's another story. <laughs> yeah. Okay. The, uh, so the person that Tai Chi is really looking to defend against most of the time would be somebody who's trying to catch you by surprise or they're not standing there posing, taking a posture to come at you. They're coming at you and they're getting as close as they can before they do that. Which means that if you're really aware and all that stuff, well then maybe you're doing the same thing in your positioning over here like what you just did. But it also may well mean that the positioning is happening at contact distance already. At that distance, put your fist up again, what do I need to do to negate his ability to really hit me? Right? And, uh, and so what he did was he made internal adjustment, don't make the internal adjustment, for this moment, we're going to get into that, but not for the moment. Well, so do this, here. and so by being here to him, Notice his fist here is in front of his fist there, which means he's got to move that to bring that. Move that if you would. And then I <laughs> do that again. Can you see okay? The uh, okay. And if he tries to clear my arm out of there with his arm, what does Tai Chi do? His sticks. It'll also move. Er, right, and so I'm doing this so that he's in his own way and he's going to have to reposition to hit at me. Because if he does this and then repositions to hit at me, while he's repositioning, I'll do my next move. 
whatever that might be. Right. The uh, take a different position, that different po fighting posture of some form. Make sure it makes sure if you can't see, let us know, and I'll make sure you can. The uh, and again, what can I do to make it so that he really is having a tougher time? I'm thinking this kind of a thing, but there are other movements there, right? For just this. So try to move me off of you, right? But I'm covering for it, and again, I'm think think your moves, right? A lot of people think of they for this one think just of the push of the other person out, which yeah, it would work. It's great. What it's for though is do this once. What's he going to give me first? Is he going to go push me in here, or is he going to put something else out there if I needed to use the move, right? So he makes the fist up. I'm already into my my move. Boom, and, and coming to it. And that was done sloppy on my side, but I'm sure you get the idea. The uh, and so right away, whenever he whatever position he comes into in the close, I don't like this one. Then this one, he still got me. He probably didn't have me with that one. He definitely got me with that one, and I don't have it covered yet. So I'm going to adjust. Notice I'm coming down to play guitar. Bring you to one of your punches. I've got him covered. Right at the closer distance like this. And we're not in contact distance yet, but we're in the distance where if, 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 if he puts the hand on out here, we are. The, uh, do a grappling <coughs> one of some sort. Not grabbing me, but in the position oh. to grab. Right? And so there, so now it comes to do the grab you were going to do. Go ahead and grab. And you can't, just because of the position that I'm in. Notice I'm not using any, I'm not tempting against him, I'm not using any force against him. It's the position that's doing it. Because I can still do the position when I'm 90 if I can walk up on it. If I'm using a bunch of that, maybe not so much. All right? Um, okay, so do it at this distance with your partner again, three and three. Um, and then we'll, and as soon as you're both have done it, then have a seat again. First, and I arrive first. How does that happen? How, I mean, if people read it, right? It sounds like some mystical, magical. They threw their punch, and before they threw their punch, I hit them. But they were. You advance. You, you advance. <clears throat> at, when they strike, you advance, and it takes you away from their target. Well, I'll give you another thought on that. If he does the thing that we were talking about at this distance where he puts his fists up, okay, and I've already covered for it. He can throw first. Who's going to, who's going to, what's the word again? Arrive. arrive. Who's going to arrive first? I am. Not him, he's gonna to arrive to my hands, he's not gonna to arrive to his target. I'll arrive to my target first. Because what's my target? His hands. Yeah, I don't wanna get hit. Right? And since it's Tai Chi, once I make contact with any part of him, I have the rest. Because, I, in other words, if I wanna pull something to his shoulder, I do it from there. I don't have to go up and hit the shoulder. Right? That's part of what you're going to do is to feel inside and to strike them inside from the contact point, wherever that is. Or if he grabs me, it's not that I have to magically somehow get to his head. I can get to his head from here. Watch his shoulder. Right? You guys can see it okay? I get to it from there. He's giving me what I need. There's his shoulder, actually his lower back. There's his feet. Okay? So the point being, when he's in the position, he'll come. So he's striking first. I arrive first. I have him now. 